Understanding normal distribution. For this case, you need to understand when we do normal distribution, we need to draw a graph and it differentiates into two graphs. The first graph we call as x graph and then you need to transform to a z distribution graph. So this is your z graph. And this part in the middle will be your mean and z part will be zero. So everything on the right will be positive. Everything on the left will be negative for z area. So from x to change into z, it will be z equal to your x minus your mean dy standard deviation. So this is how you transform an x value to a z value. And always remember when there's a graph, let's say this is the middle and this is always a z graph. Let's say that I am at this point and this is M. So we say that we are finding this shader region, it could be in this form, P as less than M and it's always lesser than 0 0.5. Why? It's because that this area is less than half. So let's say I have my M here and you are finding this shaded region. All right. So this means P has less than M, but then your area now is more than 0 0.5 because this area is more than half. Same goes to this. Let's say I'm finding N, which is on the right side. So it will be Px more than N, and your area will be less than 0 0.5. And if it's on the left side, your N is on the left side and you are finding this area, it means that Px more than N and your area will be more than 0 0.5. So this thing is a basic knowledge for normal distribution and you must always understand this graph. First, let's solve this question. The masses of watermelon harvested from a farm follow a normal distribution. You know you need to use normal distribution and with a mean, so this is your mean, mean equal to 3.5 kg and the standard duration which is 2.2 kg. A watermelon is chosen at random. Find the probability that the watermelon has a mass less than 3 kg. So in this case, it means that I have a graph here which is an X graph and this is 3, so it, are, it is finding less than 3 over here. In the middle, it will be your mean. So 3.5, your 3 will be on the left, and you need to transform into Z form. So the middle will be 0, and this will be on your left. So to transfer X to Z, apply the formula. You know that your X is 3 minus your mean dy 2.2, your standard deviation, and this will give you PZ less than negative 0.2272 and in this case when you are required to find the z value area where in this case you are required to find the answer what you need to do is to press mode two time mode two time so this is calculator then you can see sd1 so press sd1 then press shift and 3. So this will give you P, Q, R, and T. So you can ignore the T. P means the area on the left side. R means is the area on the right side. So P means your area will be on this part. R means your area will be on the right side part. And Q means go to middle. So it means that your Q could be this way or this way. So both are acceptable. So in this case, it is less than, which means your graph which is going to the left side. So you press P, which is your 1, then type in the value negative 0 0.2272 and the answer will give you 0 0.41013 as the final answer. For question B, you are required to find BP, the probability, 
which is more than 3.8 kg. So which means that let's say I have an X graph, 3.5 is in the middle, 3.8 will be on the right side and you are required to find more than 3.8. And first you need to do is to transform into Z form, which is middle, which is zero. And on the right side will be your positive Z value here. So to transfer into Z form, apply the formula 3.8 minus mean dy of standard deviation. So your value of Z will be equal to 0.1364. So this 0.1364 is this value, 0.1364. And you know that you are using R in this case, same goes press shift 3 and press R which is 3 then type in the value 0 0.1364 and this will give you an answer of 0 0.4458 4 significant is enough and this will be your final answer so this 0 0.4458 means this area on the right side here is 0 0.4458 44% is covered by this area